Okay, so uh, geometric um, um, distribution, and these are scenario problems. So here's some examples. And uh, the, the probability that any terminal is ready to transmit is 0.95. So we know real quickly that our probability is 0.95. How many terminals will need to be tested until we find one that is ready to transmit? Well, this doesn't ask me for the first one. Is asking me how many times do what do I expect to have to test in order to find one that is ready to transmit? So basically, this is not the geometric. This is finding the expected value. So we expect to have to test how many? Well, it's going to be one over p, which in this case is one over 0.95, because that's the formula and uh, the one over p, and we had that from our earlier set of notes right here. We expect on average, the mean on average, the expected value. So we're gonna go one over 0.95, and this is 1.0526. So on average, we'd expect to have to test 1.05 terminals in order to find one that is ready to transmit, okay? So if we did this over and over again, that's how many we expect to do. The next thing says, what's the probability the first terminal B will, is the first terminal tested? Well, that means we're testing one. So our probability right now is going to be 0.95, X is one. So I need one blank. And by the way, it says is the first terminal. So this is going to be a geo, PDF, and I know it's a geometric because it indicates, this tells me, hey, look, I'm probably doing a geo, and because it has to be, I'm sorry, this one does, the first terminal that is, tells me that it's a geo, and then it has to be the first one. Well, basically, that means I have absolutely no failure, so 0.95 is my answer, but if I'd gone to the calculator, second VARS, geometric, PDF, Probability of success is 0.95, and it needs to be on the first one, so X is one. Enter a couple times, 0.95, box it, we're done. So what's the probability um, that the first terminal ready to transmit is the third? So we have our first, this right there, that word tells me it's a geo, and by the way, if I'm showing my work, I'm going one, two, three, and we know the probability of success is 0.95. So this is a fail, a fail, a success, so this is 0.95. That means these are one minus that, or 0.05, and it's the third terminal. And that's why I knew I had three blanks, but it has to be specifically the third one, so this is a Geo PDF probability of success is 0.95. X is three because it needs to be on the third one. So here we go. Second VARS geometric PDF 0.95 X value three. And I get 0.00. Two, three, seven, five. What is the expected number of terminals that we will need to be tested until we find one not ready to transmit? So this means we're doing this one a little bit differently. We need a success, a success, and a fail because this is 0.95, all right? We need 0.95 here, not ready to transmit, 5% to, all right? So this is my work shown. But now, in this particular case, my P is 0.95. Um, but we didn't say how many we're going to do, all right? We didn't say the number of them. But my fail, oh, excuse me, 
Um, I um, I did this wrong. I apologize. Failure is 0 0.05. Probability that something that it fails to transmit is 0 0.05. What is the expected number? And expected is one over P. So in this case, one over 0 0.05, which is 20. I should have read that problem quick more um, thoroughly. This says expected. So it lets me know I'm using the expected value. And once again, the expected value formula is just one over P. All right. So what is the probability that the first terminal not ready to transmit is the 10th terminal tested? So we're looking at not ready. So this means we're going to go one, two, three. We're going to have 10 of them. The 10th one needs to be a fail. That's 0 0.05. Everything else is going to be a success, which is 0.95. All right, so we're going to have 0.95s. And then we're going to have um, our, our actual first failure. So this right here is going to be a geo PDF. The word first tells me it's a geo. And then I need my x value is 10. And the probability, the last number in that list is 0 0.05. So my p is 0 0.05. So in this case, here we go, second VARS, geo, PDF, 0.05, our X value happens to be 10. One more time, and we get 0.0315. Right, 0.0315. What is the probability the first terminal not ready to transmit is the 20th terminal? So now we're gonna go one, two, three, all the way up to 20. Well, this one fails to transmit. The rest of them are successful. Well, success was 0.95, but we're looking for that end terminal, which is 0.05. And remember, it's this last number that drives our P. So once again, first tells me it's a geo. The 20th, X is 20, all right? And our probability is whatever our last number is. So in this case, our last number in that list is 0 0.05. So here we go, second VARS, geometric, PDF. Our probability is 0 0.05, our X value is 20. And we're gonna get a pretty small number. All right, so our answer is 0 0.0189. And once again, geo PDF 0 0.05 comma 20, all right? What is the probability the first terminal not ready to transmit is the 30th terminal tested? So once again, you see the word first, that tells me it's a geo. This tells me the number. So we know X is 30. We know it's a geo. We know it has to be on the specifically on the 30th, so that makes it a PDF. And then I need to sit there and go, well, how many trials are there? Well, I need 30 of them. One, two, three, all the way to 30. This is not ready to transmit is 0.05. So that tells me my last number, my last number in the list, the one that's different is always my probability. So my probability is 0.05. These are going to be 0.95s all the way up here. Second VARS, geometric. PDF, probability is 0.05, X is 30. 
and we get 0 0.0113. So my answer is 0 0.0113. What is the probability that the first terminal not ready to transmit is found before the 100th terminal? In other words, it has to be found within, it could be the first terminal, it could be the second one. So it could be one, two, three, four, dot, 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 all the way up to 99, because we couldn't get to 100. So it could have been any of these. So I will. because it could be any of them, this makes this a CDF, it's not a PDF. What's the probability it's the first one, or the second one, or the third one, or the fourth one, all the way up to the 99th? If I had to do that for each one of those, I think I would just take a fail and um, on, on that one and skip it. But the calculator makes this really easy, okay? First again, first off, there's that word first. This tells me I'm doing a geo. But because we have all these different values, this makes it a CDF. And not ready to transmit, the probability of not transmitting is 0 0.05. So P equals 0 0.05. And my X value is 99 because it had to be before the 100. So here we go. We're going to change this up just a little bit on the button pushing, so pay attention. So second followed by VARS, which is right here. Geometric CDF, which is the very bottom one, letter F. Press enter, 0.05, and my X value happens to be 99. And I get 0.99. Three eight or 0 0.9937, 0 0.9938, something like that. There's my answer. All right. So continuing on. Two percent of cars have a defective seat belt. How many cars would you expect to have to check to find one? So we have the word expect, all right? As soon as we do expected, and we're gonna go, okay, we're gonna keep checking until we have the success. So it's gonna go fail, fail, fail. Oh, here's a defective. Fail, fail, fail. Oh, here's a defective, all right? So the expected value, because we're gonna continue until we have that first failure, that tells me that I have a geometric. This is the expected value for that. So that means it's going to be 1 over 0.02. All right, because that's the expected value. So here we go. 1 divided by 0.02 is 50. So basically, I'd expect to have to inspect 50 cars. So on average, we would expect to have to check 50 cars in order to find one with a defective seatbelt. All right. What is the probability that the first defective is the 50th? All right. So we're going to go not defective, not defective, dot, 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 all the way to defective. Well, the probability of defective is 0 0.02. These are going to be 0.98. And it has to be the 50th one. Because it has to be specifically the 50th one, that makes this a PDF because it's only with the 50 satisfies. The word first tells me this is a geo. So this is a geo PDF. X is 50. And our probability of it being defective is 0.02. So we go back to the calculator, second VARS geometric PDF. I'll do that again slower. Second, the VARS button. Geometric PDF, which is letter E. Probability of a failure is 0.02. And I want to find the, that one on the 50th one. 
and that's 0 0.0074. So my answer is 0 0.0074. The next one, what's the probability that the first, here's the word that indicates it's the geo, is found prior or before the 51st? So it could be the, prior to that would be, it could be the first, the second, the third, dot, 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 50, 51. It has to be before this one, so it has to be among the first 50. Because it can assume multiple values, because it's assuming multiple values, this makes it a CDF. So this is going to be a geo CDF. X is 50, because it can be either the first one, second one, third one, all the way up to the 50th. We just worry about the largest. And we know the probability of defect is 0.02, because that's what we've been working for, working with. So second VARs geometric and remember we said it could take multiple values so it could be a CDF so we're looking at letter E 0.02 in this case X is 50 and the probability that we have at least one defective among 50 cars is 0.63 five eight all right so that's the probability that there's an effective among those for that, that the first one is found during the first 50 or before the 51st one all right and so that's um on geometric and uh, then you have some practice assignments to go with that